Hello guys, um, today we are going to um, understand how you can change um, states or city name based on the country selection in, in um, fillable PDF form. It is a kind of um, advanced JavaScript. So for this, I am going to create a simple form here. Um, let's create like just two uh, rows and two columns here. and. Um, we will um, just simulate it for example like this um, country and uh, state so um, in this case we are going to take example of country and state so when we select a country for example USA Canada um, their state name should appear here so uh, let me uh, just format it in a bit and um, I will save it save it as a PDF or as a Word document it totally depends on you what um, in which format you want to um, save them after that just open your um, uh, document um, Adobe Acrobat um, go to home and um, you need to go to all tools okay uh, okay select um, create so done and then you have to go to uh, prepare form where is prepare form okay this one so create so we have two things here country and state um, I will delete those and replace them with a drop-down list. So traditionally, there is no way to change the state based on country list like like this. Let me show you a preview. So if I select a country here, state should change so we, we will learn this how we, how you can implement this uh, in a real time um, scenario so for this in our last video we have seen that how we can add multiple countries in the uh, drop down uh, list using a javascript and i have added code for that in the video description you can just um, visit that video from the description uh, below I have added the URL for that video as well as some other videos related to this topic. Um, then you have to go to document JavaScript and add a, a country. Um, but first, um, you have to name name these things um, based on um, the like um, the tags or the field name you have added in the javascript code to make things easier um, let me name them this is um, the country drop down so country drop down close and this is for the state drop down One thing you have to make sure is uh, you need to make sure that if um, this word or this um, alphabet is capital in your JavaScript code, you have to make it capital here. So it should be like they are um, case sensitive. So you, you need to make sure uh, which is uh, the alphabet which is capital, you have to uh, make it capital. And the uh, alphabet which is in small letters, you have to write in small letters. So we are done with this then you have to go to uh, document javascript and create a javascript for the country drop down country drop down add so instead of writing this code, 
I have added this uh, pre-written code for you in um, the description so you guys can just copy and paste you don't need to write the whole code um, the thing you have to do in this case is you need to just like change the uh, country and add the states uh, I will also add the list of this in the in the description below as a URL a URL to Google Drive you can you guys can just download and um, use that in, in your code like uh, just delete this part and add your part here so click OK make sure a name names are same if you have named it for example country you just need what you have to do is you have to go to war country field get this field and name it here so if you have named this field as a country add country here if you have named it as a one two three add one two three here so this is how you you work with the um, getting the field uh, similarly if you have like um, named the state drop down as a state you have to change it as a state okay here country drop down and state drop down so this is how you should, um, you should you should change like this is the country field and this is the state field so get this field if this is one two three you have to change it to one two three if you have made it like uh, you named it as a state you have to change it to state so whatever the name here you have to change here whatever the name here you have to change it here similarly whatever the name you have added here just change it here wherever you see the get field um, variable uh, you have to change the name this is simple so similarly for this one and um, okay so after changing this click ok and close and let's preview it it is showing two two country names because we have added two two names so if i exit preview and um, I go document JavaScript and I edit it and let's try adding another country what you have to do is just copy this and add a new row for example let's add Australia and um, add new South Wales NSW Victoria and let's remove this part click OK close and let's see if it shows here so we have three countries so if I change here state should change here because right now it is not um, um, changing So what you have to do is go into the actions tab for the country drop down and for actions tab you have to click on right click properties actions and in actions you have to select run a JavaScript okay okay run a JavaScript and you have to add a small code here this one update states okay then close preview you see 
ऑस्ट्रेलिया कैनेडा इट इज शोइंग समथिंग स्ट्रेंज लाइक फॉर ऑस्ट्रेलिया इट इज शोइंग कैनेडा एंड फॉर द कैनेडा इट इज शोइंग ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड फॉर द यूएसए इट इज शोइंग क्यूबे कैनेडा सो let's we have to debug it a bit and it should work fine okay guys so um the issue was here let me show you the issue so in the properties when you are um when you are in the actions tab uh you have to add like mouse exit mouse enter so in this case i have added mouse exit and then our code and click on add once you are done so when um yeah, let me go into preview so if i select canada here and let's wait for few seconds you see changed so if i select australia here and see it's changed canada let's wait for few seconds and it's changed because um it is not um uh, as fast system as our backend databases are so it takes some time to update the fields so this is how you do so thank you so much for watching let me know if you have any questions um i will be happy to answer all of those uh, just comment below what you want to learn next i will update um uh, the code in the description um see you guys later with a new video new content and um, uh, things based on your choices i am also going to start a shopify um how to create and run a shopify store plus how to do marketing for e-commerce platforms series very soon so keep watching uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, do share with your friends and family uh, who want to learn new things every day so thank you so much bye